Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video on how to bench test a crankshaft position sensor, or I guess really for that matter, any Hall effect sensor, which uses three wires. There are a lot of videos out there on how to bench test a two wire one, but I've really only seen test videos for how to do the three wire ones on the vehicle itself, which is definitely helpful because it is a huge pain in the butt to get the crankshaft position sensor out of the vehicle at least in my case this is for a second generation ram 1500 and that is in a notoriously poor position on the vehicle so if for some reason like me you've taken your old one off and you want to verify that it works hopefully this video can help you and full disclosure all of the brain power behind this gets credit to my father. He's an electrical engineer. I was struggling with this for 20, 30 minutes, and within five seconds on a phone call, he told me exactly what I needed to do. So let's just jump right into it. So there are a couple bare bone minimum tools that you need to get this job done. You will need a multimeter in order to check the voltage reading that you're getting off of your crankshaft position sensor you will need some sort of a power source to what I assume is bias the device or some of the electronics on the inside. For example, my crankshaft position sensor requires a five volt source in order to run. However, some of the older engine models use eight volts. I know there are some that use 12 volts. So what I recommend doing in order to finding out what yours is, is either look in your manual or when you disconnect the connector from the other side on the engine, just put your key into the run position and then check to see what voltage is coming out of it. I will put a picture of the connector from my engine on the screen just as kind of a reference point so that when, I've, when I'm hooking all of my test equipment up, you can kind of follow along on where my clip leads are going on the inside. You will also need a 10,000 ohm resistor, which is used as a pull-up resistor in order to float the position check signal up at 5 volts until you get close to something that's metal. Now, in case you don't have a variable power supply like I do, I know that you can probably cut off a micro USB cable so that you can get 5 volts from the wall. There are lots of 12 volt power supplies out there. You could, if it's an eight volt signal, I'm assuming you could probably power this with a nine volt battery. So again, I just happen to have a variable power supply. So you're gonna have to figure out a, a type of power source that works for you. So in terms of the wiring diagram for this setup, it would be very difficult for me to show you this just by trying to show you where all the wires go. It, it'd be very complicated. So on one side of the screen, I'll put up the connector pin out and on the other I will put up like a mock wiring diagram of what everything is supposed to look like. From your power source you will hook 5 volts positive up to the 5 volts positive terminal on the crankshaft position sensor. Your ground will go to ground and then your voltmeter will go from the check position sensor signal wire output of the crankshaft position sensor and then also attached to that you will have the 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor hooked up to 5 volts and then the negative side of the voltmeter just ties into ground so i hope that's at least a little bit of a verbal representation of what's going on but then what you can do is you just take your position sensor you come up next to something metal and when you get close it should go down to zero volts you come away goes to 5 volts, you get close, and it should go down to 0 volts, you come away, 5 volts, and you get close, down to 0 volts. And I'm just doing this by way of pulling it away and making it closer, but the way this actually works is, as the uh, flywheel on the back of the engine goes past the sensor, there are different notches, which get either, it makes a very close gap, or there's a very far gap, which tells this I'm high at 5 volts or I'm low at 0 volts. So again, far away and not touching anything metal should be 5 volts. And close 
should be zero volts. So anyway, that should pretty clearly explain at least how to wire this up, how to test it, a very basic wiring diagram. Now again, your position sensor may be different in that it takes 12 volts input or it takes eight volt input. You just need to check either the manual or some forum online. I'm sure there's some guy who's been living on that forum for 30 years who could answer this question very easily. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It uh, it definitely was a little confusing for me trying to bench top test this myself. And I wanted to replace my sensor anyway just because it's so difficult to get to this that I said if I take this out and it dies five months later, I really don't want to have to replace it with a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a replacement one in inside. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that crap to make me feel good about myself. And good luck.